any machine or process starts off with some energy that's put in to the process or machine, such as the chemical energy in the petrol that's put into this internal combustion engine of this motorbike. And then that process or engine will transfer it into useful forms of energy. So in the case of this motorbike, uh, it'll transfer it into kinetic energy of the motorbike. So we might start with chemical energy in the fuel and convert it to kinetic energy. But we'll also waste a lot of energy in the process. And that would usually be wasted as thermal energy, heating up the surroundings, and maybe sound as well. So this is the useful energy. And we can use efficiency as a measure of how much useful energy is produced as a percentage of the total input energy. So it's worth noting that efficiency is the useful energy transferred in the process or in the machine as a percentage of the total input energy. So there's an equation which helps us to calculate efficiency. And that's what all this flashcard is all about. So let's take a look. So efficiency is, now we've got some choices here that we can use to put in the, the gaps. And oh, let's do that. So it's the useful energy out. The useful energy out divided by the total energy in. And if you multiply that by 100, you can then get that fraction as a percentage. And that would be our efficiency percent. Now, the other way of calculating efficiency is using units of power. Uh, what do we mean by power? Well, let's just pop down here. So power is the rate of transferring energy. We could say that power is the rate of doing work, as work done is transferring energy. And so power is measured in units of watts, with a symbol capital W. But what do we mean by the rate of transferring energy? Well, that tells us how much energy is transferred every second. So we've got joules per second. And that's what's meant by rate. It's the per second bit. So a watt, one watt, is actually the same thing as one joule being transferred per second. And that's what we meant, mean by uh, power. Uh, it works in exactly the same way for the efficiency equations. So if we go up back up to here, we've got useful power out. So it's the same kind of equation, but just using power instead of energy, divided by the total power in. Again, multiply by 100 and you'll get it as a percentage. And so that's how you calculate efficiency, either using energy, which will be in joules, or using power, which would be in watts. And by the way, the, the typical efficiency of a, an internal combustion engine, such as uh, you would find in a motorbike, is really going to only be about 25%, maybe 30 if you're really lucky. All the rest of it gets wasted as heat and sound. Um, so if you put in 100 joules, let's do that in a different pen, we put in 100 joules of chemical energy, then we'd only get out 
maybe 25 joules of kinetic energy for every 75 joules of wasted thermal and sound energy. So not very efficient as far as transportation is concerned. So that's efficiency. Learn those equations and I'll see you in the next flashcard.